So morning all, I'm back down to my favourite place, down the back road of Dobby's, to show you this, the ride test of the LXR in black and gold. Oh, ride test on this, this is going out to a customer, and two ride tests to do on this, this is going to be the first one, and I get a chance to get a dual carriageway run in. So, analogue and digital on this, you've seen me do loads and loads of these ride tests on the LXR. I've just finished the ride test final one on the LXS. So, difference between the LXS and the LXR. First thing is that seat height. 790 on the LXS, 820 on the LXR. Bigger bike, longer wheelbase, and it's got some grunt to it. It sounds a lot beefier than the LXS. Six speed box on them. Both bikes have a six-speed box, but this one sounds a lot louder, and it looks sporty as well. It's in the black and gold, as I call it, the John Player Special, because so all the old race cars from the 80s used to be black and gold. Maximum speed, as always, 40 with a maximum of 45 to run the bike in for that first 500 miles or three months, and then you get a service, which means you can open the bike up a little bit which is what we're going to be doing down at Joel Carriageway. We're going to get a 45 mile an hour run in on this one. Dual braking bike, front brake does one disc, and then if you use the rear brake, which we're going to come in on, it brakes the bike flat using 70% rear and about 30% front. They call it two thirds to one third. So, before it decides to rain on me, I and mean, it's looking very horrible this morning, they reckon it was going to be 20 degrees today, I don't think it's going to be. Weatherman's got it wrong. Nice wide mirrors, perfect view of the road behind, and about, I'd say about a quarter of that mirror is being used by my body. But obviously I'm bigger in the shoulders than some people. So let's get through the box third, fourth, fifth, Six and bring the speed up. So 40 mile an hour bang on, maximum of 45, build the speed up, 44, 45, and just ease back on the throttle. Keep it between 40, vary your revs. So a little bit of revs, bring it up to 45, and then back it down again. So just vary your throttle response on one of these, don't just sit it at one rev. But that is sitting at 6,000 RPM, 43 mile an hour. Job done. And we start cracking the miles up on this. So, got another run to do in a couple of days. Once we finish this run, it's coming back in the workshop. Another quick bulk check, go over the bike, have a look at it, check it all over, make sure it is all good. Now, the only thing you do tend to find, and it's... Uh, nothing with the bike when they do build them they sometimes leave a little bit of air in the brake system which is a normal thing so when you get on your bike if you happen to be a dealer we know that thing check the front brake make sure you've got plenty of front brake it's normally the rear pedal gets a little bit spongy and being a dual brake bike you have to bleed it on the front and the rear caliper don't just bleed it on the back one because it is a dual brake line so bleed both of those bleed nipples on the front caliper and the rear caliper. All right, the brakes on this, we checked this earlier, I did say that brake feels a little bit spongy. I'm going to give it a little bit of a bleed and it works perfectly now, so tiny little bit of air in the system, but that should be picked up by the technician when they're riding the bike. You should know what a bike feels like. sound good and that is with a stock exhaust as well it's got the full stainless system on it so it does sound exceptionally good and it pulls through the gearbox absolutely beautiful now I'm used to short shifting on a bike so a little bit clutch drop it in and then I tend to rev match, coming down, bit of front brake this time. 
and it does sound when you pop it down a little bit of rev matching just to ease that clutch up to start with but it corners lovely on these tyres next moment we'll have up the game on the tyre market now we're getting some decent tyres coming on not the cheap nine on eight stuff that we had a couple of years ago but nylon tyres are good every bike in the 70s had nylon tyres you couldn't get decent rubber back in the 70s and 80s quick stop and check the lane and we'll move sounds absolutely beautiful let's get the visor up for a minute and I'll have a listen my motor serve man Feel the rain incoming. So first test ride, three and a half miles on the bike. One more further ride test to come, a little bit longer. Sounds glorious. There we go little bit of exhaust noise on the LXR. First test ride done, back to the garage. If you enjoyed the video, as always, like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget the ride outs, uh, Wednesday night midweek mumble Peaky Biker on YouTube, Thursday Oakley Motorcycle Club. Friday is my live stream and then Saturday we are at Garage. Sunday though is the Super Sausage Run as always. If you do want to join us on any of the runs let us know. Sundays we meet here at 8.45 depart 9 o'clock every Sunday and the big ride out last Sunday of the month with the pack. But until then, be well, ride safe and from RB it's a big goodbye from me. Thank you.